Hey guys, today we're going to test out the best Ribbon NA build in Season 10 and we're going to see how good it is, guys. But before we start, though, I do like to say that this video is being sponsored by Pro Guides. Have you ever been on a big losing streak and you don't know how to get better at League? I always say go to ProGuides.com which has the best videos on getting better at League. They have courses with pro players, they have champion tier lists and matchups at tools, and they have a 24-7 challenger coach who you can talk to at any time. And they really work at getting you to a higher division. I highly recommend them. Check out the first link in the description below. Alright guys, so here we are in this game where we play Riven against an Urgot. And also, uh, for the best Riven NA build, uh, basically what he always did, the way how he got Challenger back in the day was by playing Riven without boots and just straight up going as much damage as possible. So, it's ultimately your choice what you want to build. You can go for Black Lever, you can go for the regular uh, build. As long as you go full AD and like full damage, then you're pretty much doing the best Riven in a build. Anyway, uh, he also really liked to build two Dorm Blades at once pretty much every single game, so that's something we will be doing as well. For the runes, we will be playing with Conquer, and secondary, we have Resolve taking the Shield Bash with the... Uh, oh, with the Shield Bash. I mean, uh, with the Bone Plating. Alright. Oh, we do miss a few CS though, which I'm not really happy with, but... It's okay. So they have a Jarvan. So something about the Urgot matchup is that, uh, for instance, the Urgot matchup is one of Riven's hardest matchups out there by far right now because Urgot's range and does like a lot of damage and if played properly it can be a really big pain to, to play against. But that still means that we have a fair chance to win. I want to try to trade him. And as long as he doesn't hit the grab on you, you should technically be able to win against him before level 6. I'm going to trade him again here and I'm going to back off. He's going to use the Q, most likely. Hopefully, I do miss it here. Alright, he doesn't use it at all. That's fine too. Alright. We're just going to take it chill right now. We will relax. Hopefully, he doesn't go back here though. We're about to find that out. Okay, that's that's perfect. I'm gonna pop my potion here because we're going to be training him again. Nice, that's a perfect trait. I do have to try to dodge his Q though whenever he tries to pull it out. Also, Jarvan is mid right now. Okay, we're gonna try again. Yeah, dodge it. Nice, using the shield to dodge the Q. Also, Jarvan is in the river right now, so. Gotta help him out. Actually, I got him here. Not. No. Maybe we can dive. It, like, it. we almost got that kill right there. We got really close to actually getting that kill. I was super convinced we would get it, but it was just tiny, like, tiny bit more. It's gonna TP right now. At least the Urgot doesn't have flash anymore, so when we try to set up the lane for a gank, it's going to be a uh, free kill right here. Oh, it doesn't seem like he's using TP at all. Yeah, he doesn't actually TP, which surprises me, kinda. It would be really good if we could get the first plating, though, but we're not really getting the chance, so. Well, maybe I can help him out. On my way. I'm on my way. I got to kill here. Okay, that's good. Okay, in instead of my genre getting the kill, we got the kill there, so why not? Let's take it. So now we already have 1300 gold. We can actually buy a second Dordan right now, and we can also get like two extra long swords for the all in potential. There we go. I'm gonna buy an, an extra uh, refillable potion. Good. So once again, the best within an A build is as follows. You don't build any boots, you stack up about two Dorm Blades every game, and you try to go full damage only. You're not going to build defensive items. The only idea is to get as much damage as possible with your gold. Trying to be as efficient. Also, we're going to be maxing W here, because that's also the same thing that he used to do back in the day. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, there. My team's doing pretty good right now. All right. I gotta get my level six first. He's gonna get level six here. Also, uh, in this matchup, it's all about dodging, really. If you can dodge his, um, his engage, then you're pretty much set. Also, in an all-in that goes too long, he will. Ur Urgot's most likely going to win that, so we're gonna avoid that too. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. So it's all about dodging that thing. Yeah, like that. That one is something you should be dodging, but for me, it doesn't really do any damage. Because we've had the bone plating. Oh, wait, it's our own cooldown. He just does no damage. Yeah. So it's all about dodging that engage right there, but at the same time, trading is very hard against Urgot sometimes. Oh. Yeah. He's every time we try to trade him, he will back off, so it's it's a little bit harder for me to trade him as the Urgot doesn't really play as aggressive as we want him to. There we go. That's a very efficient trade. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Wait. He knows I'm going to engage. Ah, uh, okay. This is going to be a hard one. Ah, uh, I didn't have the cooldowns yet. So that's why we couldn't really get him. Yeah. Yeah. If I hit that one, I could have had a kill right there for free right now, but unfortunately, we get to miss it. Not very good. Also, my TP is up, so technically I can help them right now, but I prefer actually winning this. If we can make him stay, that would be so good. Alright. Here's my chance. If he tries to engage right now, I'm going to go for the old end. I'm just trying to bait him out, trying to see if he's going to uh, engage right now, but it appears he's not really doing it. It's fine, though. So, I've had a really good choice there. Either helping out my team with my TP and then w perhaps winning the dragon or just trying to kill Urgot and taking all the platings. I went for the second one, but it just... I couldn't get it done here. That was really unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna buy, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to get a page right now. There we go. I was thinking of buying a death stance as a first item, but I I kind of prefer going for a black lever right now since we're playing against Urgot and he's gonna get really strong very soon. So I prefer rushing the black lever, getting the cooldown as quick as possible. And then like just shoving in the lane and trying to do other stuff around the map. That's my uh, plan right now, pretty much. Also, the ward there is pretty good. I can like TP anytime. I can TP in 20. All right, there we go. I think I'm ready to go. It looks really good to TP too. I'm going to TP bot lane. This is the best moment right now. This is honestly the best moment. Don't go back, dude. I had TP. I've had my TP up right now, dude. Okay, I'm still going to TP anyway. That's unfortunate that Draven doesn't pay attention. But yeah, we're still going to get some kills here. Yeah, there we go. We don't need Draven. I'm going to do it myself. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let me get that one. Hey, there we go. We don't need Draven to get those skills down. That's perfect. Let's go back here. I'd love to get some more platings though, but, you know, never mind. Nice. I'm also going to get a Warhammer. There we go. 
So the best of NNA build is definitely it's really good. Because since you're since you're building two dorm blades, you're already going to have a much better laning phase. But at the same time, uh, you're not really building boots, so you're spending that gold on something else too. That's that's what makes it so strong. What are you doing here? I got him. Yeah, nice man. I'm taking that for me. At least I got like an assist, which which I'm happy with. My ultimate is on cooldown right now, so I cannot really mess with the uh, Urigod. At least not too much. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait for my ultimate to come back for sure. Otherwise, I won't be able to do that much. Unfortunately, bottom is still not doing well, but that's more because Draven gone back at the time I was going to roam bottom, so he could have just had like a lot of assists. I'm gonna dodge it. Perhaps maybe I could uh, bait it for my jungler. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna get one planning so that I mean I'm gonna get one of the plants so that I'm actually full health again. There we go. Perfect. Maybe I could even roam mid lane. We could technically even dive mid lane right now and do something very good, but they, my teammates, need to set it up. They really have to set it up, otherwise I won't be able to do that much. An enemy has been slain. Oh, hey, Draven is actually doing something. Hey, that's perfect. Nice. Okay, so it's all about pushing right now. It's all about pushing it out completely and just either... Uh, Going back to base, buying items and roam, or going back top and keep shoving it in. Pretty much. Oh, doesn't look very good. I'm gonna have to help them out. We need to get this dragon. This dragon is extremely strong right now. It's super important. I'm moving, dude. Yeah, we can get him. Hey, he lived there. He actually got to live there. Uh, we're getting the Leona at least. Yeah, we got him at least. I would still like to get this dragon though, but this Draven isn't even part of this entire fight right now, pretty much. I would still like to start it anyway, but you know, it's... It's not a good idea right now. It's definitely not a good idea. He doesn't have vision. Oh wow, he's got he's actually got vision somewhere. That surprises me. Okay, we're gonna have to start it. My genre's coming already. Here we go. It's about my genre right now. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't get him. I can get him myself. Okay. I couldn't give the kill to Kaylin, unfortunately. Perhaps, maybe, I could have actually killed Kaylin there if I flashed on her and just did the full entire fast combo. But I'm not going to risk it. Because if it goes bad, then... Obviously, we're not going to have a good time, so... There we go. Now back to top lane. We got four kills right now, so we're technically really strong at the moment. Okay, perfect. The next thing we're going to do, after pushing in top lane and stuff, we're going to be farming jungle camps as much as possible. And when the time comes, our TP will be up. That's when the that's when we need go to start. Getting like uh, towers and stuff, pushing lanes in, split pushing as much as possible. Kind of waiting for this. Bot lane seems like a really good lane to go to right now. 
But I'm simply waiting for my TP. I'm just farming up as hard as possible. There we go. I'm gonna get this cap as well. Nice. I'm gonna get this one too. Ace. Yes. Oh, it's not. This one's not being here right now. It's gonna be a challenge to kill this Urgot right now, cause he's got the Black Lever and he's already got Ninja Tabis too. So I'm gonna have to figure out something here. No, I cannot fight him. He's being too strong right now. This is the problem about Urgot, pretty much. I got four kills. I'm extremely strong, but uh, we still need to scale him. We gotta scale a little more. Nah, we I, we got him. Yeah. Perfect. Next time we're gonna push this. Urgot's made a big mistake. There we go. I'm gonna push this to the all the way to the tower. We might as well even take the tower right now. We'll find out. A genre is nearby too, so we can definitely do something. We're gonna push in the next wave too, and then we're gonna go mid lane, and we're gonna try and kill all of them. Nice. Let's go mid. I don't even have to TP, cause they're already on the good place. Oh, oops. I queued a little bit too early. Oh, he's right there. Nah, 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 you're not escaping. There we go. We can we can almost buy the death stance right now. We can almost buy it, guys. As you guys can see, like we're getting so many kills. We're just playing based on people that are mistakes. Nice. Come on, get the hero too. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but we can definitely get that one too. Oh, he got he got away, unfortunately. Nope, we cannot get him. Well, we still got a lot of kills, so we can actually do hero right now. We can still do it, it's still like one minute right now. Let's take it. Or, I mean, if they want to go mid lane, we can take that as well, but... I, wa I want this. We need this. Yeah, they're staying mid lane. We can take it. Nice. Alright. We've got the hero now as well. So we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna buy a death stance. And the next item we will buy is going to be... Uh, a ghost play because ghost play gets more cooldown. We need that 40% cooldown, so we gotta keep buying some more. I'm not really a huge fan of combining the ghost play with the death stance, pretty much, but uh, in my opinion, to make this best of an innate build right now, to make it work, we gotta have to build both of them to maximize the damage, so. Also, getting the 40% CDR is something you will need. Nice. Let's push this in. They're all fighting for the dragon. I'm going for the tower instead. There we go. Got that one too. Now let's actually join the fight. Oh, there already seems to be winning it. Okay, that's fine. All right. My team is doing absolutely absolutely good right now after we started getting like all these kills. My Draven was doing really bad, but it's going a whole lot better right now. Wanna steal this one? My Draven is actually doing work right now. I'm proud of this guy, man. Okay, there we go. He's not able to stop us because we're too strong right now. 
Nothing he can do. Yep. Uh, I can fight them both. Well, I cannot fight four people. <laughs> I cannot fight all of them, guys. Perhaps I could have even spawned the Herald here, but I prefer keeping it for mid lane right now. That's why I kept it. Let's go back here. We're going to buy a Longsword. We're also going to buy a Warhammer. We now have 40%. We have a lot of damage and we have Herald, so we can spawn it like mid lane or something. Let's go mid. There we go. Oh, wow. That surprises me. Okay. Once we get rid of this thing, we're going to push it out. What's happening with that Cassio? Oh. I don't know if Hero works on the, on the uh, tower of Vizier. I'm not pretty sure. I'm also driving his AFK right now. I don't know why. But we, we don't need him, I guess. We can also win this without him. Nice. Ah, I was stuck in the traps, man, for such a long time. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm about to be spawned up in about 30 seconds, and my hero is almost over soon, too. I'm afraid that my hero is done for nothing right now. I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. Nope. Nah, I can't spawn it. It's too late. Wow. Yeah, I'm too late, right? Yeah, I'm too late. Wow. I didn't even mean to die there. That's unfortunate. I miss. I just missed it completely. Okay, no problem though. No problem. I'm gonna go bot lane. I'm gonna push the entire bot lane. And... With my TP, I'll be able to help my teammates, so. No problem. Doesn't matter what they do, I'm, I'll be able to TP in and help them out. I'm extremely strong right now, so. Whatever they might do. As long as I split push bot lane and push towers, then we're going to be fine. There we go. They're doing Baron. I have to TP here. I gotta have to, man. This is bad. This is bad news. Ah. I tried to get vision on him so I could jump over the wall more easily, but. It did not exactly go the way I wanted this to go. They got the Baron. They, they got it. We are so much stronger than they are, but they still got the Baron regardless. I guess it's kind of my fault because I could have TP'd a lot sooner. Kind of. Perhaps maybe a few other... Uh, a few seconds could have made a, di a big difference here, maybe. But we're going to get a new Dragon. That's, that's fine. They cannot really do anything with the Baron. Because technically, if we group up... We're so much stronger. Yeah, there we go. I can actually buy my Ghostblade very soon. Let's go bottom. We're gonna be farming bot lane now too. Got dragon, perfect. Alright, here we go. Some people are going bottom though. Alright. Oh, there's a ward here. I really. Oh, someone else is here too. I just saw. There's like three people bottom. Yep. 
A flash will be up in about 60 seconds. It's been a while since I actually bought Ghostblade. Alright. My flesh will be up in about 45 seconds, which means that the best thing we can do right now is to group up. And perhaps assassinate one of them. So, I'm just gonna chill here. Hopefully my team groups up. And I'm gonna try to one-shot that Caitlyn. That's my primary goal right now in the team fight. Okay. 15 seconds. We're doing this without the genre at the moment. Five seconds. Okay, he's dead. Or well, I didn't even have to flash there. I didn't even have to, dude. Okay. That surprised me how well it's working. Ah, uh, we can get him. I'm so much stronger than him. Yeah, we got him. He's not able to run. Two seconds. One. Oh, he's actually ran off. <laughs> there we go. We still got him after all. <laughs> Alright, sweet. I am nearly unstoppable right now. I am so strong with the death stance, with all of this stuff. The only thing that's the problem, which is the problem, is the movement speed, but I think you don't really need this. Since you have like all the dashes and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need to have that. I used to play like with this build like for one entire year back in the day. Nice. I'm gonna get this camp here as well. Hey, perfect. Alright, Urgot's pushing top. There we go. I want to stay topside. Now it's all a it's just a matter of my team grouping up right now and me splitting on the side. So So basically um going to buy a potion here. So the best format is four people top lane, me being as bot lane, or grouping up with Flash, that's also one thing, that we could also do that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, grouping up is something we can do too. Here we go, I'm gonna flash on Kate. Which is that already? There we go. Gonna take the bottom and hip too. I can one shot the here. Just waiting for the right moment. Someone needs to go top right now. Okay, I've had a lot of healing and all that, that stuff. Thanks to my death stance, we were able to survive this as well as the Nami just healing me out every single time. That was great. Or maybe. I can, I can, I can kill him. Okay. He's trying really hard right now. 
Just give me a sec here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get all these scams and I'm, I'm gonna kill all of them. Watch this. I'm getting all of this. I'm gonna turn level 17. I'm, I'm, I'm about three levels ahead of Kaylin right now, so... It's gonna be a piece of cake for me. Wow. The stunts! These stunts are insane. They're literally insane. I'll see you, my friend. I'm about to finish this game. Alright. I think this is very much it. Yep, it is definitely for sure. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. The best from an NA build still works. This is still actually very great. So, yeah. Guys, if you're looking for a high elo stream, do not forget to check out my stream because I'm streaming a lot. Same thing goes for my Discord server. If you got any kind of questions, let me know in the, down in the comments or in, the, in my Discord server, guys. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon, man. Take care.